This is CBeebies on YouTube. Find even more fun and games for your child at the CBeebies website. The following content is intended for our CBeebies grown-ups audience. The internet is a fabulous resource. It allows young and old today to explore, learn and interact. Increasingly, children are connecting to the internet in a variety of ways. I've got a Samsung tablet. Many parents, however, feel left behind as their children appear to know more about the online world than they do. I mainly play FIFA and Call of Duty. I think I've played it for like 10 hours straight before. They're grown up in that world. I'm here to meet parents Basil and Louise who feel just that. They're already fairly involved with their children and their children's use of the internet, but there are some practical settings they could be using and enabling on their devices which will help them limit access to inappropriate content. Whereas brother Jaden, mm -hmm. who's seven? Seven, mm, yeah. Right. He goes on Minecraft. Minecraft. All services that connect to the internet, all devices and websites will offer some sort of privacy control or privacy security settings. So even game consoles will have parental controls and security settings. Right. Even phones have them, even tablets have them. Equally, if you are on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all these services also have privacy settings. So as a parent, um, one of the things that would be useful to do perhaps is to go into those settings just to look at what they are yeah, yeah. and to decide if they suit you. Location services basically can be very good if you use, for example, Google Maps and you want to know where to go and you know you have to get out somewhere. But if you've got a, a social app which is linking up with friends and part of the feature is sharing your location, okay. then you know, potentially if you've got a 10-year-old or 12-year-old, you may yeah. not want them to turn that on. What websites would that be? Even with Facebook, you can get it to use your location. Really? So, you know, getting kids to be aware mm -hmm. not to disclose their location. So this is, again, you as a parent and as an adult mm -hmm. saying, OK, these are services. What suits me? What do I want to enable on here? Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what you use to connect to the internet. Mainly I use my phone, to be honest, to connect yeah. to the internet because yeah. I'm out and about you know, with the kids, dropping kids at school. So, yeah. Do you currently use any filters? I don't know. I don't know. No. Okay, don't. so there are some very practical things as parents, um, particularly with younger children, um, that you can do. And one of those things is to turn on some of the filters that are available, say, on sites like Google, because children are using Google to search. Or well, there's filtering software that looks at keywords. Some software will allow you to actually set up what is called a walled garden. Children can only access these five sites and nothing else. Then there's also software that allows you to set timing. And then there's some software which allows you to monitor page by page all the things your children are doing. All the ISPs, the internet service providers like BT, TalkTalk, Talk, Virgin Media and so on, are now providing family packages that you can actually ask for. So what that um, offers is actually filtered internet access in terms of adult content. I didn't realise that, yeah. that that was an offer. We're with Virgin, aren't we? Yeah. So. So that would be worth accessing. It cuts down the risk, but it doesn't totally take it away. Yeah, and the right. last thing I would want is for parents to say, brilliant, I've got this filter, my ISP's done the job and I'm, I'm okay. You're living in a connected world, so even though you and I might lock everything down, and I'm not necessarily in favour of that, they might go somewhere else where the access is totally open. So if you're opening an email and that email has an attachment, then the antivirus software just checks that file, says that's fine, clean to open. A lot of people I know have had their Hotmail and Yahoo email addresses hijacked and those email addresses are spamming that's all the friends list. To me, yeah. 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 yeah, and you know, if you click on that link, you potentially open up another website where if you don't have the right control, software could be downloaded onto your computer. With all this connectivity, what are the biggest challenges for you? I think with the teenagers is the fact that they are on the phone so much. Sure. That it's with them all the time and even at night time, mm -hmm. you know, you think they've gone to bed or gone to sleep naturally, they're on the phones. Balance is key and I think making sure they get enough sleep is really important. Mm. But it's also making sure that they limit exposure. So when they're sleeping at night, perhaps turning the phone off or putting it in airplane mode is really good. The biggest single thing you can do, especially when the kids are really young, is, um, is be sit with them, do it with them. 
But as they get older, it's about having that relationship where the children know they can come and talk to you. Find out when we add new clips and build a playlist especially for your child by subscribing for free to the CBeebies YouTube channel.